Stunning new developments tonight about those escaped convicts. David Sweat captured alive, now talking to authorities. A hospital bed confession straight out of a Hollywood movie, revealing staggering details from their days on the run, the close calls during that manhunt, hiding in trees while police passed by. And from inside that prison, their months of preparation, the dry runs. Tonight, 12 members of that prison staff now on leave. ABC's Lindsay Janice back on the story, leading us off. Tonight, a major shakeup behind the walls of this prison. The superintendent, his security chief, and 10 guards and officials now all on indefinite leave. As investigators learn, the two killers started digging through the walls of their cells way back in January. Does this mean that their cells weren't checked in six months? I think that's, a, that's an issue. Prosecutor Andrew Wiley telling me David Sweat admits the two men broke out of their cells night after night to scout the inside of the prison walls. He and Matt even doing a dry run before the big escape. And after they broke free, they knew all too well they were among America's most wanted. They obtained a AM FM radio that they were able to listen to uh, the news media. Hiding out as more than a thousand law enforcement officers scoured the forest with helicopters, ATVs and dogs. Sweat telling investigators that on at least one occasion, the search teams just missed him. At one point, Sweat says searchers were combing the dense forest and had no idea he was right above them, hiding in a tree stand like this one used by hunters. Another time, the killers were hiding out in a cabin when some hunters showed up. They could they, hear the conversation. They could hear the conversation. Whoever was outside left. Another night of freedom for the two killers on the run. Amy David Sweat is in fair condition tonight, shot once in each shoulder. He'll soon be shipped off to another maximum security prison where he'll likely spend 23 hours a day in his cell. Amy? Lindsay, thank you.